We have been playing Summoner for quite some time now, and many of you have told me to try out some other classes. So, I unlocked the Gladiator while my friend was away to give it a go. I did a few of the hunting log mobs for Gladiator specifically, since that's some decent experience, combined with the class quest of course. It does feel fresh to play something different. I enjoyed it a lot while trying out Gladiator. I am unable to teleport at this time, it states. I thought it was because I was too low level to teleport. It turns out it was just because I also had the Ethernet UI open as well. After completing the first rank of the hunting log, I reached level 10, which conveniently unlocked the second rank of the hunting log also. We also unlocked the Oath Gouge. Do all classes have some sort of UI element they can track? Since Summoner has Kabanko and the other Aether UI element you can keep track of. For all different classes I had unlocked, I also made a gear set to keep track of everything a bit easier. Some people are making nice music again. I kept listening for some time. Since I was leveling Gladiator for a bit, I thought I could level some professions also to make myself some equipment. With the professions like goldsmith, mining, blacksmith and armorer. Of course, including the gear sets. My best bet was to start with mining, since we need ores for the rest. So, I started mining for a bit. The gathering system is actually quite easy to understand in my opinion. If I had to compare this to World of Warcraft its gathering system, I can see both pros and cons. For example, in Final Fantasy you don't have to compete with anyone for mineral deposits. In World of Warcraft, you do. But, in World of Warcraft you are not somewhat locked to a specific small part of the map to find ores and such. Well, in Final Fantasy you are. There is of course quite a bit more and they are vastly different from each other. But, the Final Fantasy system is definitely easy to understand and the abilities you unlock while leveling are handy to gather more later on. Well designed system if you ask me. After doing the level 10 mining quest you will also unlock quarrying which can unlock different kinds of resources. Ending on level 18 for now, I switched back to Summoner since Evil Spooky was available. In the meantime, Evil Spooky also did some progression towards his professions. You can see who has a bit more time on his hands. Continuing with the main story quest, we noticed that part 5 was also available in the new game plus, which to our understanding indicates that the story part is also done. We weren't sure when part 5 ended, so they blended it well together. This lady was entering Revenant's stall because we wanted to speak to her. She, however, has other plans with Urianje. I have my doubts Urianje likes those other plans. Kind of wondering what exactly she was talking about here, as we are not the only ones. With some new crystal Mumbrida brought, we were able to attune to the crystal near Snowcloak. Ak Afa Ampriteatre on hard modes are now available? Ah, uh, these names, man. <laughs> we of course immediately went into the trial to defeat Iceheart. She transformed into some Ice Queen, it seems. Is this her true or ultimate form? The fight with all the icicles was lovely, but I think someone made a mistake or we were all wrongly positioned. At a certain percentage she goes into her second phase, and even while most of us were dead, the transition is gorgeous with her flying around. The music felt a bit off though in our opinion, like we were watching some anime intro. Nevertheless, we got her on our second try. I am not sure what the involvement of the Ashens are, but apparently La Habrea will be pleased. Going back to the guy who represents Ishgard, he thanked us for taking care of Iceheart. Does he mean Shiva is actually a primal? Like an ice primal? We might have missed this part earlier. The Leggy are the Leggy really is corrupt now, isn't he? I wonder how that will pan out. We were unable to continue the main story quest after a bunch of cinematics. We had to do some trials on hard mode to be able to continue. Gathering while in queue is a very nice activity to do. Of course, you can also level another class for a bit while in queue. This is definitely a well made system of Final Fantasy XIV. Before entering the Howling Eye, I would like to share that I love this music, if not one of my favorites from Final Fantasy. It feels like the perfect music for any boss fight.
After defeating Garuda on hard mode, I still had to unlock the navel on hard mode. After doing so, together with unlocking Ak Afa Ampit Theatre on extreme, we quickly went into the navel. Titan was no match for us. So, after defeating him, we could continue with the main story quest. But before doing so, I tried to do a few things for Armorer and Blacksmith, so I could make my own gear for my gladiator. Evil Spooky had to leave anyway, which made it a good time to do so. I actually learned a few more professions, since Botanist is also required to level Armorer and Blacksmith. This is my current progression. My goal is to get mining to level 50 first, and the others afterwards. I am not sure if this is the best way, but it feels better to just mine for a few hours in my opinion. I mined for like 3 to 4 hours and reached level 47 in mining. Evil Spooky told me that he found out about the leaf quest to level your professions quickly on the higher levels. I did a few for mining and reached level 50 in like 10 minutes or so. After doing a bit more of armorer and leatherworking, I ended up with this as my progression. Time for some more progression for the main story. We had to follow Ilbert for a bit where we met him with someone dead, which was required to be alive for our interrogation. After a bit of talking in Ilda, there was something we had to interrogate. We were immediately met with a new dungeon, the Keeper of the Lake. The queue popped quite soon. Of course, most of the mechanics we have seen are dodging, but they try to make it a bit different kind of dodging all the time, which is the best you can do in my opinion. At the top of the structure, we were met with this ancient dragon creature. Not long after we managed to defeat him, he talked a bit with the dragon afterwards. He was talking about burning down Ishgard. I wonder what happened up to this point with this conflict, that he makes such hard statements. He called out Hydaelyn and did something to us. It seems we lost our crystals or lost their power? We did got a new lovely pet, little Midgard Somir. We went to Northern Tenalan since there was some suspicious activity. But before we went on, I noticed that Evil Spooky fell asleep. So I went on to do some progression on my hunting log for my gladiator to level him a bit. Since I reached level 18, I also queued for duty roulette with my gladiator. I got into Satesha and by just doing the duty roulette I got 4 levels. That went quite quickly. I also tanked Ifrit. After trying it out for a bit, it does feel a bit weird compared to my tanking experience in World of Warcraft. It could also be because I'm still low level, but it doesn't feel like I can do a lot to mitigate damage apart from like one small cooldown. It feels like I'm just here to hold threat. It could also be that I'm doing something wrong, but who knows. Maybe it will be better on the higher levels. Ah, look who woke up. We can continue with the main story. I also noticed that the fourth skill bar is shared across all classes and jobs. Well, this is handy in some way. I did find it a bit annoying that I had to add my summon abilities again after changing back from Gladiator. I will probably change my bars later on because of this. An Ashen came by while we were trying to siphon some ether into our new crystal to imprison the Ashens. He apparently does notice that the blessing of light is no longer with me. This could be dangerous. Immediately going back to Minthilia, where she encountered the Ashen already. We were unable to get the Ashen out of this place, since our blessing of light is gone. Moonbridia did try to stop the Ashen, but um, got obliterated. Well. By Minfilia, she had no chance. We unlocked a new trial, the Tricellis. There's Minfilia, we have to rescue her. After some time in the fight, a few orbs seem to appear. If we read the debuff it gives correctly, is it the best option to alternate a bit between them? Or did we misread this mechanic? Phase 2, and a whole new room to fight in. A bit on the bright side, but it could have been a lot worse. Oh, uh, uh. What are those crystals? Someone please send help. Yeah, well, uh, that was fatal. I think we did something right here. We managed to defeat him at least. With Minfilia rescued and the Ashen being gone, it is a good time to wrap it up for today's video. Oh no, the Ashen isn't gone. Moonbrida died trying to help us defeat the Ashen. Also, Evil Spooky has made some big progression in the meantime. He played a lot of Final Fantasy. Thanks for all the recommendations for the different classes. I will try them all out eventually, but most likely first the ones you all recommended the most. Make sure to like the video if you did and leave a comment down below. 
don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I hope I see you all in the next one. Bye bye!